Howdy folks. Happy Halloween. Happy Sam Hine. We've got these three beauties sitting here. Having a little fire by the river with my dude. Bonzo Darkness. See if the train comes by tonight. Been getting pretty lucky. But, I'm going to do a video this evening on... I have the Spider Coast Shaman on my left, the Manix 2 in the middle, and the American Lawman on my right. And this video is going to be which one of these would I want the most if I could have one pocket knife out in the woods. Or let's say if I got stuck out in the woods in a survival situation. Which one of these three would I be happiest to have in my possession at that time? So, stay tuned. We're going to do a little bit of field testing here. I got some 10, 12 ounce leather. I got some number 36 bank line, a little fat wood. And that there is a little bit of uh, ash that I already split up. I'm trying to do some feather sticks and things with it. So, if you're Want to find out what my choice would be? Y'all stay tuned. All right, first, I'm gonna we're not gonna get too technical here with the specs on these knives. I'm just gonna do a run through of them real quick, show you each. Got the American Lawman. This is an S35VN. Pretty sturdy stout knife, got the tri-lock on her. It's going to be going up against Spider Coast Shaman. This one's an S30V, very similar to S35VN. I did a little skinny model on this knife, got a video on it. Go check it out if you're interested. And last but not least, Manix 2. Now this one is the Rex 45, but let's just pretend this is the uh, base model of S30V. Just to keep it even. Alright, now I'm doing this testing on things I would use these knives for. These are the things I use them for. I mean, I do occasionally open a package, but I'm mostly running around out in the woods. And I like to have a, a good pocket knife on me to kind of complement my belt knife, whatever I have at the time. And. So we're just going to do some quick things I would do with these knives. I got some number 36 bank line here. I'm going to put three strands together. I'm going to pop through with each of them. Pretty easy, of course. We're going to fold it in half and do six strands. All right. Got the Manix too. American Lawman.
course they're all going to cut through that. I would say out of the three of these, the Manix 2 was the sliciest. Popping right through that number 36 bank line. Alright, this is some 12 ounce top grain leather. Just do some slices through this. Start with the uh, American Lawman. Do this. Pretty slicey. Manix too. That sucker's real slicey. Let's go uh, see what the shaman can do. Pulling on through, it's not as easy. It's a little bit thicker blade stock, but slicing on through. Do a little more of each. All three of them perform pretty good. Alright, let's do a little fat wood, a little feather stick. Not the easiest to do a feather stick with, but I mean, at least for the fat wood. Fat wood's kind of tough to feather stick. Throw that up in the fire. Let's see about doing some, uh, this is some hardwood here. Shaman. Yeah. A little 
little bit of one there. Do a little hardwood feather sticking. It's definitely easier feels to control the feather sticking. Just a little bit. That man is so slicey, you gotta have super control. I mean, it, of course, it can be done. Puny. Alright. American lawman. Think we're gonna get lucky. Oh, There's some curls there. American lawman. I think that one takes a cake on the feather sticking. Do a little more with each. That's some super curls there. Yeah, that was a tough decision um, between two of them. I can tell you that I, I, I mean, if I had the Mannix 2 out there, you know, I'd be, I'd be glad I had a knife, but out of the three, um, that one didn't compete with the American Lawman and the Shaman. Uh, just for a few reasons, uh, it had thinner blade stock. I mean, it was real slicey. It'd be a great, it's a great knife to do an EDC, carry around, you know, during the day at work, at the house, opening packages, you know, slicing up a tomato or something, whatever you do with your knives. Light duty work, but 
also with that ball cage, I know it's a strong, strong locking mechanism, but I feel like more can go wrong with that than with the uh, shaman or the American lawman. So uh, that one was out of the picture first. Then between the shaman and the American lawman, I went with American lawman. I'll tell you why. So, the shaman had, both of them have great ergos. They're about the same size. American lawman has a little thinner blade stock on it, just a tiny bit compared to the shaman. Sorry, it's getting dark, so it's getting a little hard to video. But, um, I don't know. Overall, I felt like this did the best with the uh, feather sticking it made some really nice thin feathers which you need sometimes I have batoned with this knife if I had to get to dry wood I wouldn't be as worried about the tri lock as I would the compression lock and of course you can always drop your knives into a 90 degree angle and baton down through if you have to but and I also know this knife spines just a tad bit sharper I mean, you can always use the blade if you have to to strike a ferro rod, but you know. S35VN on the American Lawman compared to S30V on the Shaman. Both are about the same for uh, sharpening, you know, ease of sharpening. They're not terrible, but. Uh, they do take a little bit. I always have some little pocket diamond sharpeners out with me in case I have to touch up my blades. Um, this thing just feels great in the hand. It's sturdy. It's durable. It's lighter than the Shaman. So that's a big, big thing too if I'm carrying some gear. It's just, I mean, I love this Shaman and I'd be, you know, ecstatic if I was stuck out in the woods with that. But if I had to choose between that and the Loman, I'm going with the Loman. What do you all think? What would you choose out of the three? The Shaman, the American Lawman, or the Mannix 2? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm a complete idiot down there on my choice. Don't hate me. I mean, I, I work with these knives all the time out here. and I'm, The Shaman is awesome. Awesome knife. All three are, really. But if I had to choose, if I had to beat a knife up do some medium maybe even a little tad heavy duty but not really tasks this one is going to out compete the other two so that's my choice American lawman I appreciate you all watching the video and welcome all new subscribers appreciate you all thanks for watching hope you all have a great happy Halloween take it easy